On PC, the best way to do forestry is utilizing FDR Logging's mods. I've been using them with a controller for many years now. And so I'd like to take a minute and show everyone how to set these up and get started with these mods. Most important thing, when you install the mods from his website, which is the link below, you will also wanna make sure that you have the input bindings mod installed and enabled so that you can set up your controls just like I have them here. Now, before we get started with the controls, let's jump into the general settings and take a look at one setting in particular here that was added a few updates ago. This setting is called Wood Harvest Automatic Cutting. And what this does is this will automatically drop the tree when you're cutting, or it'll stop the tree from dropping while you're cutting it. We wanna make sure this is always off when using the FDR equipment. Now, from time to time, you will have an issue where the tree will kind of get stuck. So you can just toggle this from off to on if you ever need to. Inside the controls, uh, we have the keyboard controls first. Now on mine, it's all the way down at the bottom here. Um, don't know if that's the same on everyone's, but that's where mine is. You wanna just kind of scroll through it like I am here and look for the FDR inputs. You'll notice that because I don't play with keyboard, um, I don't have anything in here for it. It's gonna be blank. And so if you are gonna just use a keyboard, which is fine, you can set the inputs up with your keyboard here. However, I'm using a gamepad, uh, PlayStation controller to be specific. And so we're gonna jump over to the keypad and that's where we're gonna set them up the way that I have them. So it's going all the way back down to the bottom. See what I have here. And the reason why he's got his inputs like this is because there's conflicts with other mods. So he's made his own input bindings to make them stand out. We're gonna go through what each and every one of these do in just a second, but I wanted to give you a second so you could screenshot these settings if you wanted to do them the same as I have. I will also put them in the description so you can just copy and paste them directly into your input binding folder if you want to. So whenever we click on one, uh, we can edit it instantly by hitting the controls on the actual controller. So that's what I just did here to enter these two. So the first one is swing cab right and left, and this just kind of positions you right or left. The next one is boom arm up, boom arm down. This just picks up straight and drops straight. Then you have boom arm in and out. This pushes it further away from you or pulls it towards you. Next up is the grapple, and this is where you tilt it in or out. And this is if you need to kind of level it with the ground or anything along those lines. You can also rotate the grapple as needed. So if you're trying to load a truck or if you're trying to spin the head on the processor, you can do that with this. Then you have the claw open and close. So this will open and close your primary claw. If there is a secondary claw, like this one has with the thumb rake on this, there is a secondary control for the second claw open and close. So we'll spin this sideways to show you. you drop this down and adjust that as needed. For the next set of controls, we're gonna hop over into a piece of equipment that has a processor on it. These next sets are going to be the roller arm open and close and roller forward and backward. These are only used when you actually have a log that you're picking up from the ground without actually grabbing it to cut and you wanted to move that log back and forth. So just to show you that this only works in that way, I'm gonna show you cutting down just a new tree and show you that this will do nothing. And that's okay, because it's not supposed to. So here, if I kind of spin around the camera and get to a position where we're gonna look at the actual tree, We'll see that I can open and close the rollers and the claw. 
So the, the rollers, we want to kind of tighten onto the tree here. And then we can spin the rollers back and forth. And so these are kind of allowing us to manipulate a log that's in there. And because the tree is locked in to be cut, I can't actually do anything with it. So see, it's going to look like it does nothing. Really, all I'm doing is just kind of grabbing the tree, which I already have grabbed. So don't get confused here. It's not supposed to work in this situation. So we'll just get this tree out of here and we'll go pick up a, a log that's already been processed. And I'll show you kind of how to manipulate these instead. So even if I turn the head off, I still can't do it. So we'll just turn this on, cut it, get this thing out of the way. You can see I still can't move. Cut that. And we'll go grab one of these. Um, now, what's cool about this thing is you can use it to pick up logs that are already cut, um, which could be great if you're kind of restacking the pile or if you just want to throw them onto a trailer one at a time or anything along those lines. So we'll take this, spin it this way. We will manipulate the claws a little bit so we can grab this. And there we go. Or not. Try that one more time. All right, so now that we have this, uh, again, this is just a log. I'm not in cutting mode, so I'm not grabbing this thing to cut. I just grabbed it with the claws right there. So you can see I can manipulate the rollers, get them close on there. And then when I actually move the rollers, you'll see the log actually manipulates through the processor head. This isn't as useful as it used to be. This was a big feature for when, uh, before we had this find end feature that Farming Simulator added directly into the game. So now when you actually just grab the tree to cut, it'll automatically find the end of it. Um, but before that, you actually had to move the tree into place to cut it if it was a, if you're picking it up like that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I will have links in the description for FDR's website. I will have uh, my key bindings as well. So if you want to copy and paste those directly into your input bindings, uh, you can do that. If you do, all I recommend is just back up your original input file. Um, take a look through it. It's an XML record. So if you do see already that there's FDR pieces, you can copy and paste mine over that. If you don't see them in there, you can just kind of add mine in wherever you need. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if it was, please drop a like. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe for more great content. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.